If you'd like to have more tips on how you can have abundance in period 9, how to build multiple streams of income, as well as more tips on how to align such that you will have success, abundance, good health, relationship and wealth in period 9, do join me in my free webinar on the 20th of May. It's a Saturday at 7pm. I've left the link in the video description and I hope to see you during the webinar. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially from the areas of communication success and motivation. In today's episode, it will be a continuation of the Period 9 Alignment series. And today, I will share with you the three tips that we should be preparing ourselves for when we're aligning to Period 9. And if you have not watched the different episodes that I've shared on Period 9 Alignment series or the previous series on Period 9, please click on this link here so that you can enjoy and learn more about Period 9 and how we can prepare ourselves to have abundance, success, wealth and health in this new era. So without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more. Welcome to this segment. Let me share with you the three tips that it's important when aligning ourselves to this new era, the era of period 9 from 2024 to 2044. So the three tips will involve the three R's. Number one, reflect. Number two, relevant. Number three, resonate. Let's start with tip number one, reflect. So what is important for us to look at when we are reflecting is what is your current phase of life? Are you between the 20s to 30s, starting and building your career, starting and looking for a relationship or building your family? 30s to 40s, still building your career or you're already in a family relationship and therefore you want to build a strong foundation for your family relationship, looking at that house. 30s to 40s where you have children, you're trying to provide for them in terms of education in the longer term or are you in the 40s to 50s or 50 to 60s group moving on to the next phase of your life itself. When you are looking at each current phase of your life, it is important to reflect and understand what are some of the fear and uncertainties that you are looking at that is actually lingering in your mind and disturbing you. And the number one thing is when you see fear and uncertainty, because that's period nine itself, nothing is stable, it is important for you to look the fear and uncertainty and the problem straight in the face. Reflect and understand how you can then adapt and prepare for this particular period. Now to prepare ourselves and adapt to this, then we need to look at the fire element. What does it mean? Now fire element, as I mentioned in a lot of my Bazi series itself, is the only element that can change the state of all the other elements. What do I mean by that? It means that fire can basically burn wood. So once fire encounter wood, wood turns to ash, Fire melts metal, metal from a solid state becomes a liquid state. Fire boils water, water from a liquid state becomes a vapor state. And then fire also cooks or hardens earth itself. So from a soft earth, it becomes a hard, solid piece of rock or earth. So you can see that if fire changes all states or all elements, then nothing basically becomes constant. So there are three universal truths that we need to remember about period 9 when reflecting and preparing ourselves. Number one, it is basically if fire changes all metal states, then change is the only constant. So therefore, we need to understand that we will always be challenged and made to move out of our comfort zone from one state to another state. And therefore, in that particular part itself, fear and uncertainty is something that you have to live with in these 20 years. And if you welcome it, instead of looking at it as a fear or uncertainty, look at it as a challenge on how you can improve and break through yourself. I think that would be a much better way. The second universal truth, since nothing is constant or change is the only constant, 
then whatever that we do will never be perfect for a long time. It may settle the problem for the time being, but be prepared that we need to basically get up, build our skill sets, change our mindset when things changes again. So this is the second truth. Nothing is permanent, therefore nothing is perfect. And therefore, whatever that we do, whether you're picking up a new skill set, building the additional stream of income, it will never be permanent. Be prepared to basically experiment. If you take the mindset of experimentation, having fun, learning the process, then it'll be good. And therefore, it's also important, like I mentioned in quite a few of my videos, to let go of the expectations of a certain outcome and learn to enjoy the process of getting to where you want to be. Plan, but put the plan aside and just take action itself. Then the third thing about the fire element is it because it is actually very extreme. So the third universal truth is there will be extremes. People's opinions will be opposite of each other as we can be seen in the world stage right now. So therefore, do not expect that everyone will be agree with you, but know that everybody is entitled to their own opinion and of course you are entitled to yours as well. That's basically tip number one where you reflect on your current phase of life or if you're moving on to the next phase what you need to do, stare the uncertainty and problem straight in the face, look at it as a challenge rather than a fear. Then understand the three universal truths of nothing is constant or change is only constant Therefore, nothing is perfect, which is the second universal truth. And third is nobody will agree with everyone. Let's move on to tip number two. Now, what do we do in tip number two? Tip number two is the second R, which is relevant. The question to ask is, how do we stay relevant in period nine, be it in your current phase of life, if you are just at the beginning of your career, beginning of a family, beginning of changing to the next phase, or you're moving on to the next phase in your life. So the question to ask yourself is, how do I stay relevant in this new era? And to stay relevant, we have to have, like what I said earlier on in tip number one when we reflected, is what is the new mindset that we should have based on the three universal truths that I mentioned earlier on. If nothing is constant or change is the only constant, then the open-mindedness mindset of being willing to learn, being willing to pick up a new skill set, being unafraid of failure, it's one critical thing in staying relevant. Two, in terms of being relevant is investigate what are the relevant skill sets that will be in period nine. And I have an entire video talking about the new mindset that is required in period nine. I'm pointing to the video link here right now to go through that video and understand what period nine opportunities are. For instance, in the fire element itself, it could be the AI that we're seeing, the technologies that we're seeing, as well as the industries such as wellness, beauty, spirituality, metaphysics, so all these I covered in that particular video. So do go through that video so that you can understand more. Pick up the relevant skill sets. And when I talk about picking up the relevant skill sets, we must also remember that because everything changes, even if you have a very secure job in a secure company right now, that it will never change because the only constant is change, as I mentioned earlier on. Therefore, when we're looking at building our career, if you are in your 20s to 30s or 30s to 40s and in your building career phase, then it's really taking your own career in your own hands and building skill sets of what you are interested in based on your path profile rather than looking at just building your career path within one company itself. Now, for those who are looking at then building multiple streams of income or an additional side gig to top up, it is then critical for you to look at basically the experimental mindset because like I mentioned earlier on, nothing is constant. Everything is changed. Even if you have a successful one stream of income today, it will change 
in a couple of years, as I've observed even within my own income stream itself. So having the experimental mindset, being willing to fail, learn from the fail failure, pick up yourself and then move on. So in tip number two, in staying relevant, the everyday mindset that we should have is nothing is permanent. The only constant is change. That's mindset number one. Two is because the only constant is change, therefore nothing is perfect for a long period of time. So therefore, most things will be imperfect. So learn to let go of expectations and an outcome. Learn to enjoy the process. Learn from failures and setbacks and pick yourself up to move on. The third mindset based on the third universal truth that I covered in tip one is nobody will agree with everybody. So therefore, if you expect everyone to listen to you, as example, from a parent to a child perspective or from a superior to a subordinate perspective, it is going to be tough. The fire element is about influence. So if you want people to see your point of view, learn the technique of influence, which I covered in the Asian personality profiling series. And if you are new to my channel, you can click on this link to understand a little bit more about the 10 day masters and the different profiles and orientations that I covered in the Asian personality profiling series, which I adapted from the traditional Bazi system. Let's move on to the next tip, which is tip number three, which is basically the third R of resonate. So what does it mean by resonate? If you think about resonate, it's really about resonating to a certain vibration. And if you look at whether is it feng shui energies or even human beings, we already know that all of us are vibrational beings. And if the energy of the universe changes to period nine, we need to basically adapt so that our energy vibrates in resonance with the universe energy in order for us to enjoy abundance and success, prosperity and good health. Don't you agree? So what does it mean by resonating then? So the first important thing about resonance or resonating to period nine energy is having the mindset of abundance. So when I talk about abundance, it's not just about material wealth. It could also be your relationships, your health, general abundance itself. In the next video, I'll be covering about how do you build the foundation for multiple streams of income as well as following that i will have a webinar on tips on how to have abundance in period nine so if you have not signed up for this free webinar please click on this link or go to the link in the video description so that you can learn more during this webinar itself and i look forward to seeing you then now let's come back to resonance resonate from the abundance mindset that I mentioned earlier on and therefore the mindset of being open to new learning, open to failures, open to challenges and not being afraid of staring fear and uncertainty is the new mindset that you should have, especially if you have voted about fear and uncertainty about moving on to the next phase of planning for your retirement itself. So that's one of the critical things, even for people who have voted on how you move from an employee to an entrepreneur or how you can have that additional side gig. It is really about staring fear in the face and having the new mindset of not being afraid. The second thing about bringing yourself up in terms of energy to resonate to period nine is really about the attitude. The attitude of not willing to accept failure, the attitude of being experimental and the attitude of never say die. So if you look at the fire, it does take quite a bit of effort to extinguish it once your passion and your motivation moves on. Like I mentioned in the previous episode, we can utilize spirituality to help us, especially in period nine where fire is strong. If you have not watched that video, you can click on this link here to understand a little bit more about how you can utilize that. Because from there, 
whether it's spirituality, religion, you can generally have the faith and the hope. Of course, if you have a very strong mindset, you can also rely on your hope, your motivation and your passion to move you towards it because that's what the fire element is all about as well. So in the tip number three, so far I've covered number one, it's a new mindset. Two is the ready than ever experimental attitude and the willingness to learn. The third part of resonating is whatever that you think, whatever mindset that you have, if you never take action, the energy is not going to resonate. So of course, the taking of the action is critical in this particular portion where then you can start to feel your vibration resonating in according to that of period nine. So taking action, willingness to experiment, fail, stand up again, try again, even if you do not succeed in your first career company, you can then move on and build the next skill set in the next company or carry on building the same skill set that you're looking at. Then if you're building the additional stream of income or side gig, same thing. Even if you do not actually succeed in that first side gig, does not mean that you will not succeed in having the additional stream of income or additional side gig. As I mentioned earlier on, I will cover in the next episode on how you build the foundation for building additional side gig or additional streams of income and tips on abundance for the webinar. So I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you have not signed up for the webinar itself, please remember to click on this link or go to the link in the video description. And the last bit about resonating is we as human beings are social beings. So therefore, when we want to resonate, don't you think it would be better if we resonate as a group? So if you can find your tribe, be it your soul tribe, your same interest tribe, your mastermind tribe, be with people around you who have the same vibrational energy, because then it's easier for you to move towards this new era itself. Because can you imagine if you are trying to basically do well, be motivated and every day you mix with a group of people who just wants to laze around, who just wants to live life as it is or are complaining about life, complaining about all the changes that's happening to them. What is it going to do to your vibration? It will not help. So do join interest groups or join mastermind groups or join your tribe or come to channels similar to mine where basically we are all trying to move towards this new era, trying to be positive, trying to look at fear and uncertainty in the face and accept that change is the only constant. I hope that you've enjoyed my video today where I talked about the three tips on how you can move in alignment to period nine itself. Let me recap. The first thing is reflecting. Reflect on where your current phase of life is, how you should basically move forward, especially based on the three universal truths that I talked about. The second tip is basically how do you stay relevant, picking up the relevant skill sets, relevant mindset and relevant attitude. The third then is resonate. How do you build up your vibration to resonate to that of period nine? Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I hope to see you in my next episode. And like I mentioned earlier on, if you have not signed up for my free webinar on tips for period nine abundance, please click on this link or go to the link in the video description to sign up. I'll see you then. Goodbye.